Hmm. What is this? Power steering? Gasoline? Doesn't smell like much. I don't know. I was noticing a clunking when I turn at low speed. I popped the hood. This was on top of the headlight. I don't have this tool brand. So, I don't know how that got in there. But, free 14 mil. Maybe somebody was trying to jack my something. Where's my keys? Do I have the keys? Where's the keys? The keys are right here. Front sway bar bushing test. Oh, that's weird. This car. I don't know if my car's running right. It's doing some funky things. Oh, look at that. The tutorial video I watched. You know, I think there might be a difference. I don't know why my car wants to idle at 1800 RPM, but that's cool, man. Well, my, uh, I need to replace a capacitor so my RPMs always show, but it doesn't do the, you know, it doesn't do the rev up to like 1500 and then draw back down. It's just like, boop, 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 and then it like almost dies. So is that like aftermarket math? Probably, that's probably shit. I don't know, I don't know. This guy. I'm thinking I want to remove this kicker crap. I don't have subwoofers, so I uh, saw a video that said unplug the battery and then reconnect it, and the ECU will like relearn the fuel map or something. All right. I am finally going to fix this capacitor. Let's do it! Shout out to Ron. Mm. Oh my god, these are small. Okay. Time to have fun. First time soldering. <laughs> You want to help me? Thank you. Kind of interesting in here. We've got some patterns forming. Definitely uh, very healthy, whatever that is. All right. Yep, I did this one. Oh, wait. Oh, did this one. And I did this one. Eh, it's a little messy. <laughs> yeah, I hope that doesn't... Uh... I think it's fine. <laughs> Nothing is catching on fire. That's a good sign.
Okay. Wow. I think it's better. Huh. Did I actually do something right? Awesome. So this happens. I'm at a red light right now. Just, uh, it just wants to idle at like 1800, 1700 something. All right, we're moving. First gear. Second gear. That's not good. I broke my car. Some funny things that I'm noticing. Because I was actually editing the video and I was like, you know what? I'm not going to leave it on a, oh, my car broken. What is this doing? Is this, can this be loose? This doesn't go, this black part doesn't. Go any more that way. Oh, can I adjust it there? Let me Google that. Also, I replaced this, which is the PCV valve, PC valve valve, maybe? Pressure control something. And uh, I have the original one still, so I'm just gonna put that in. Uh, oh, this is Toyota, and this is Toyota as well. Okay, I'm gonna do one thing at a time. I'm gonna replace that with the original one. those headlights the left one doesn't want to come down I don't know why I'm just gonna see how it runs with the filter off I noticed I did clean this out with brake clean which might have been stupid it's kind of like wet around here or like it's throwing Maybe it's oily, so maybe oil is coming from up here, going back into the intake. I don't know. Jeez. 
Seems pretty good to me. AC full blast. It's, it's you know, it's bogging down a little at like 800, 900. But it's not doing too bad. Oh, kicked up a little bit. A little high still, I think, but the check engine light went away. We'll see. I don't know. I just really don't want to re-solder that, but I might. I'm going to wait until uh, my intake comes in, new intake filter, something, and then I'll see. Something's going on up here. Something isn't good. Something is not right. I'm gonna just spray it with this. Hope this does something. This is for getting iron off of wheels. I don't know if it has any anti-rusting capabilities, but... Was that a rolling smoke reference? It's turned it black already. Let's clean that up. Oh, purple. Let me do wiring brush. I'm gonna cum it. Vacuum. Spray it again. It'll work, it'll do something. Oh, and the Miata? I jacked it up, but it's kind of hard to get underneath with uh, just my little jack. Maybe I'll try putting it on ramps. Put it on those ramps. I don't know. It's leaking something, but... I guess that'll work. What the fuck? Damn! I think the bumper will fit. Um, it's just kind of in there. I had to take this out of the filter because the this is too big I should have just got a 2.75 to 2.75 probably but I mean it's not going anywhere so let's go for a test drive No idea if this camera angle's good. Let's see if the car still works. This shifter is gonna be fun. Oh, it loosened. Am I stripping it? With my hands? Maybe. Nope. Getting tighter. It's good. It's good. <laughs> I 
This shifter's fun. Can really get a can get an accurate feel for when it's actually all the way in reverse now. I get more leverage. Dude, this shifter's too long. <laughs> here. See if they pull me over. Got my crash bar. Should be all good. They don't give me a second look. getting so loose already. Oh. My revs are being funny. It's a slight hesitation. <laughs> First and second are fun, but going to yeah, you know, gotta do some ninja moves to shift this one. I think it's idling all right. It's a little low, it's a little shaky. Too? It's just such a nuisance. Yes, I love it. I get a, I get to fidget. When I'm at a red light, I get to fidget by 
retightening my shift nut. Smells like it's time to put my bumper back on. It's just kind of epic. It's just kind of epic. Okay. Slightly low idle. Oh, what is that? Is, is that a shit pack? Holy. That shit pack sounds kind of sick. Oh! <laughs> there was a TDI beetle that just keep flying around a corner. It's a quick release steering wheel. Got my, got my ring dinger right here. that my package arrived. I put the wrong um, shipping address because I'm epic. No, because uh, it was because I had like entered my phone number and resubmit the form but it made my billing address the same as my shipping address which is not right. And then it shipped to my parents' other house. So I was like damn, I'm gonna need my dad to be out there. But he wasn't out there this week. Surprise. And I only, uh, I only knew that my package got delivered today. Well, I knew, I knew today that I got delivered two days ago. Because they sent me the wrong tracking number. And I'm like, what the hell? So I just got confirmation that my new bumper is here. 700 fucking dollars. For probably piece of shit Duraflex. But, shout out Skin Club, I guess. And if I go this weekend, I got my friend's uh, birthday party, if you know Lil Cabbage. His birthday party is this Saturday. And I was gonna take the Miata to be like, yeah, race car. Look at my freaking race car. But what is that? Hello. Yeah, it's cold. I think it's water. Let's pop the hood though. So I'm gonna have to take the XB this weekend. How'd this hold up? That's fine, dude. Wait, let me just... Will this somewhat fit? Oh, fuck. I 
Nope, I'm gonna have to tilt it down. It looks so cool though. What? Dude, you can't say that. I have to loosen it. What was I gonna do? Pop the hood. Yep, look good. Next, I got this shit. This is... This is the most expensive shit. This is like the Resonix best performing... They probably fucking rigged it for their own product, actually. But yeah, it came with this, so that's a good value. So I'm gonna probably put that in soon when it's not so humid, so it sticks better, I guess. Right? But yeah, shift knobs looking crazy. Um, I guess next video, I'll have the new bumper, hopefully. And um, it'll be cool. I'll throw up a pic of the new bumper. What I want to eventually do, what I want to eventually do is have sort of a, sleeping a bed here i'm gonna have to take out the passenger seat because i'm six foot one and i believe from here to let me measure it i forgot so who else watching paul saladino i'm about to eat freaking testicles all right so it's Oh wow, it's short. It's not with the seat all the way up, but it's five foot two to the to the back of the front seat. So if I make oh, nice. if I want stop it. If I want six feet, okay, six five is to the shifter six six five to the shifter so that's uh that's some good space oh also oh. Shit. the blower motor in here oh you gotta take this out the blower motor in there is actually easy to take out, or I don't have to take out the whole dash to do it, so I'm going to take that out and clean it as well. And hopefully, what they, oh shit, I only have, I only have tomorrow to do that. Okay.